I have vlog reviewed three different pro teams and focus specifically on the fraggers. I'm gonna go over the things I learned that separate a pro from your average fragger. First thing I noticed is their awareness. It seems like they always know where players are rotating from and when they're on their walls because they're actively looking around and gathering information on teams. In some of these clips you can see how they're constantly scouting and finding their next refresh because of it. It's hard to explain the exact ways they scout for refreshes, but if you watch these clips you'll understand how to look for refreshes better. You should also take note that they're never looking too far from the IGL so they could call them over the help. In this clip, Kanata knows that the team's gonna run past his wall so he calls Aegis back to hold it while he sprays and ends up catching threats before he can run past. If Kanata tried to do that by himself, he may have missed out on a refresh that would have changed their game. Working together makes refreshes much easier so making sure your teammates prepare to help before going for a play could be the difference between a good and a bad game. It also helps if you're close enough to your teammate so they can help right away. Refresh opportunities can come and go really fast, so if you have to wait for your teammate because they're really split, that'll cost you. Edgy and Acorn are really good at playing close together, and you'll see every time they call a pre-edit, it's with little time wasted and they can successfully get the refresh, and if not, they can recover since they're together. Another thing that pros do really well is cutting people off, and you see this a lot with IGLs on frontside zone, but fraggers could do it as well on backside. Looking at piecing where you know other teams have to rotate past and wait to kill them is a really common way to get kills and it works really well as long as you're aware of where people are rotating around you. Just make sure you don't spend too much time dedicated on that one play because if you have to wait for someone to walk into your piece and they don't, you've just wasted a lot of time and still don't have a refresh. Going back to being close to your IGL, there's times where you need to be sticking on them because you need to get through a certain area or there's a team trying to cut them off or something like that. Your IGL should be telling you when you need to stick on them, but you should always be close to help anyways. In these clips, you can see a Commandment was ready to shoot these kids because he had to stay with Avery to get ahead of his own. There was also a time where Avery started to get sprayed and Commandment was able to edit him out quick since they were together. If he didn't save him on this edit out, Avery could have died right there and they wouldn't have won this game. Little things like this is why pros stay more consistent in endgame. The last and most important thing in my opinion that separates pro fraggers from other players is having the ability to lead. The most common time you see fraggers leading is when they get a refresh and have to take over the tarp because the IGL has little to no mats and have to stay ahead of his own. At any level, a fragger should be comfortable to take over tarp when necessary, but at a pro level, fraggers are comfortable leading the rotate and putting the team in a good position whether it's moving up or down layers or positioning more towards dead side, they understand how to rotate endgame. A really good example of this is Yomzo. Throughout the endgame, he's thinking about and calling some rotates even though he isn't IGLing because he might see something that Ryze doesn't and that could put them in a better position. I'll show you a few examples of what I mean. I'm me, I'm me, I'm me. Yeah, I'm on you. Good luck. I'm gonna play for it. Just get out, Ryze. Be cool, be cool. Yeah, just get out, just get out. Pulls max. I'm out, I'm out. You I can go. lead, I can lead. We're gonna go up one. You gotta get around this tree. Play you if you need to. I'll pull with you. Old Dose, you should play an old, play an old Dose on me. Yeah. You're hard solo. Go up one, go up one, go up one. I'm up. Where you at? Wait, Ice Tiger, go, go, go. Crank, crank, crank. I'm staying front, you ready? Yeah. West team, I'm going up. Just try to get up. Get up one more. Up two, up two, up two. Yeah, I'm here. I'm sheep tarping. This is obviously a bit more advanced and might not fit your playstyle well, but just being aware of zones and rotates is definitely a good quality to have as a fragger. I'll be implementing all the stuff I learned from VOD reviewing into my gameplay in the Challengers Cup, and you can catch me streaming that live on Twitch, the link is in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video or learned something new, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.